Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video we're going to be working on some outdoor house projects. We'll be working on our fire pit, putting together some outdoor furniture, this really comfy chair which has become our new favorite chair. So we'll be putting this together as well. Also planting a little garden in a raised garden bed. So we hope that you enjoy today's video. going to plant some hibiscus in this planter here in front of our barn. Last year we made this DIY wooden planter and it was starting to come apart a little bit there at the front so I had to go and get the drill and some screws and fix that a little bit, put in some new soil and then I planted these two little hibiscus plants. They have been thriving here getting so many beautiful flowers. Once I got those planted I blew off the concrete here in front of the barn and then that evening Jalen mowed the backyard and then he also did some weed whacking. If you haven't seen the complete transformation of this little barn, I'll be sure and link those videos down below because it was quite the drastic makeover. We basically turned an old rundown shed into this cute little barn. Love the wood sliding doors on the front and this little light is actually solar. The barn doesn't have electricity, so this little solar light that I found on Amazon was perfect. Okay, so now we are going to start working on this fire pit area that we have off of the side of our back porch. This area needs a lot of TLC, a lot of grass and weeds have grown up through the bricks. All of these wood logs are rotted. So all of this needs to be taken out of here. We want to add gravel where the dirt is around in the circle, get rid of all of these weeds, pressure wash off the brick and add some chairs. So nothing too drastic, just a simple makeover to the space, but it still is a drastic before and after what you'll see in a a couple minutes here so stay tuned and these antique bricks are so neat so we wanted to be sure and keep them in the fire pit area if you're scared of snakes then look away now because when I was filming the bricks there I looked up and realized that there was a snake underneath this big log over here and I'd been walking right up to that log to film the bush and everything and I didn't even see that it was there but looking back at the footage I can see down in the corner of the camera that the snake was right at my feet and I didn't even realize it. It is a completely harmless snake it's just a gopher snake so Jalen just chased him away and the snake went over to the bushes far away so we could get to work. They are actually actually good snakes to have around. They keep away gophers and mice, but I just hate snakes. So when I looked up and saw that snake under the log, I just jumped out of my skin because he scared me half to death. I just don't like to see snakes around, but at least he's harmless and a good one to have around. So we're getting to work here. Jalen is scooping all of this dirt and weeds out of the dirt area of the circle of the fire pit because like I said, we're going to add gravel in here. And he did have a sprinkler on this area for like a full day to soften up this dirt because it's been a long time since we've gotten rain. We're here in southern Arizona so we're currently in usually the driest time of the year so the ground was really hard so we had that sprinkler going that way it was nice and soft to scoop off the dirt and I could easily pull out the weeds. <music> satisfying to pull out this grass and clean up these bricks. 
This little old tractor Jalen bought from his family's farm and we've used it so much already around the property so it's going to be really nice to have. It's a pretty old tractor but it works great for what we need it for and it was really handy to have for this project. So once I got all of the weeds pulled up out of the bricks and Jalen got all of that dirt area cleared out then I got the pressure washer and we started working on pressure washing off these bricks. It's already looking so much better, but we still have to add the gravel and the chairs. So first we put down this weed barrier landscape fabric, and then we'll put the gravel on top of that up level with the bricks. Once we started seeing how good this area looked, just by cleaning it up a little bit, we were like, why didn't we do this a long time ago? But we've been just a little busy with other projects here at our house the last two years, and then also, of course, starting the flip house this year. Let me know down in the comments what outdoor projects you're working on at your house this spring. We've just been working at trying to clean up everything around the house, just doing like a spring cleaning, weeding and weed whacking and planting some new plants, just trying to get things cleaned up and freshened up for springtime. starting to get pretty hot here in Arizona. Next month will be our hottest month of the year. So right now it's just been hot and windy and dry. So the sprinklers came on in the yard and the boys were running through those and I ran through there for a bit as well just to cool off a little bit. We really miss that big tree that we used to have right here beside the fire pit. It used to shade this whole fire pit area during the afternoon. So we really miss having that. We're hoping to be able to plant another tree there a little bit further away from the house. Last year during our rainy season, which is in July, that big tree that we had there fell down during a storm. It fell onto our porch. And so we don't wanna plant anything that close to the house again, but we still want a tree in that general area just because we really miss having the shade. Had a little bit of leftover gravel so Jalen was just putting that around at a few places and now we're going to put together the chairs for the fire pit we have five of these Adirondack chairs and they're like an all-weather material so they'll be fine to sit out in the Sun and the rain they're waterproof and they'll just last a lot longer than a wooden Adirondack chair would that would sit out in the weather all the time like these are going to they've got a cup holder they're really roomy and super comfy so we'll have five of these around the fire pit one for every member of our family.
Okay, so here is the before and after of this fire pit area. Just a simple makeover, but it's still quite the transformation. So now we're going to put together a raised garden bed. This raised garden bed is from Best Choice Products. They wanted to send us some of their outdoor products. And so we decided let's get a raised garden bed and try our hand at a little garden this year. We've been wanting to start a garden, but we just haven't done it yet. So we thought we'll just start with one raised bed, see how it goes this year. And if it goes well, then maybe we'll do a couple of raised beds next year. This raised bed is their metal raised garden bed. It's six foot by three foot by two foot. They have this in two colors and a couple different sizes. You've got two feet of growing depth. So I think I'm going to try to grow some green beans, carrots, and red beets in this garden. And we are not gardening experts, so all your tips would be appreciated. This is just going to be an experimental garden. We're going to see how it goes. And then, like I said, if it goes well, we'll do a bigger garden next year. I do really enjoy gardening, but I don't have the greenest thumb. So I'm hoping that I can keep all of these vegetables alive and that they'll grow well. This raised garden bed does take a little while to put together just because there's so many screws, as you can see. At all of the corners you have two sets of screws and then screws in the middle as well and it does have those two braces in the middle but it's still faster than building a wooden raised garden bed so once we had that put together we decided to set it out here by our well shed it'll be really easy to keep it watered and also in the afternoon at the hottest part of the day there is some shade from the pine tree that will shade most of this garden so it won't be in the full sun all of the time so he filled the bed up half full with dirt and then we filled it the rest of the way with garden soil I only ended up planting green beans, carrots, and red beets. I think I was overestimating how big the raised bed was going to be. A six foot raised bed is a big raised bed, but I know how big these plants are going to be, so they're going to take up a lot of the space in here, and I may have crowded things a little bit, but once they start growing, I can always thin things out. Owen helped me finish planting the seeds, and then I got everything watered, and we are probably going to have to add some type of netting over this, just because I know once these little plants start popping up we're going to have birds and little critters trying to eat those little plants and so some netting is probably going to be necessary.
Best Choice Products also sent over this wicker egg chair, which I was super excited about. I've always wanted to put one of these on the back porch. And like I said at the beginning of the video, we've been loving this chair. It's so comfy. I chose the one with the black cushions. They've got three different cushion options. You've got like an ivory color, black, and then also a navy. These would be cute inside or outside. I could see one of these in like a game room or in the corner of a kid's bedroom as like a little reading corner. Corner, but we'll be having this on the back porch for now. It does have an all-weather design so it's water and UV resistant and the cushions are weather resistant as well so they're really easy to clean. This is Jalen's new favorite chair on the back porch. He's been sitting in this all the time. It's just super cozy to snuggle up in with the baby or the kids and I've been working at completely finishing this back porch the last couple of weeks and also this week and next week I'll be working at it as well just adding all of the finishing touches and completely finishing it so stay tuned that video will be going live soon going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Stay tuned because next week I'll be posting the complete back porch makeover. That video will be going live next Tuesday and then next Saturday the bathroom makeover at the flip house will be going live. So stay tuned. Two great videos going live next week so don't miss those and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with that next video. Bye!